Hello and welcome back. Now we will discuss about the front end which I have developed in the front end uh, uh, in the React. That is React JS. I will show you in this uh, front end. I will test you all the functionalities or the all the roles which I have mentioned. That is admin, accountant, reception, a patient, and doctor. I have assigned uh, different functionalities for the different roles. Like uh, admin has a role of adding employees and all. Uh, adding employee, removing employee, updating employee. Accountant has an, uh, according to their rights, I have uh, designed the pages. So first of all, let us look at the admin page. I have a uh, dummy user of admin. Uh, this uh, email password and role will be sent to the server, which is in the spring. And when I, click on the um, login button it gets logged in this is the list of all the uh, employees who are working uh, we also have a patient who is a user but patient list will be visible only to reception and accountant and doctor here only patient according to their role admin reception doctor and accountant on the admin has right to add employee uh, let us add an dummy employee abc uh, let is uh, write last name be def. Let it, uh, his email be abc at the rate gmail.com. Let his password be 1234. As password should not be visible, but uh, just for the recording purpose, I have changed its visibility. That is, I have changed that uh, input type from password to text. Here I'll select role as an admin. You can see if I set the doctor, one doctor charges column appears here. Uh, date of birth I'll enter today's date of birth. This is a dummy. That's why I have entered today's date of birth. Date of hiring also I'll add as today's <coughs> only. I'll assign salary as uh, 1800, any random number. Uh, this uh, security question and all is uh, uh, got from the backend. I'll enter it as Jerry. And when I'll click on this uh, add employee, new employee will get added. See here, you can see the ABCDF. Uh, date of birth and uh, date of hiring in this salary. If uh, admin wants to update, he can update the user. Let me change his name to uh, Akash. Last name is Kapoor. Email I cannot change. I can change the date of birth. I can change his phone number. And when I click on update employee, see here his salary got updated. And here name also got updated, Akash Kapoor. If he uh, admin wants to remove any employee, when he clicks here, he need to enter the Employee ID, this is 113, which uh, I have recently added. I'll add 113. I'll enter the phone number. It is 8793-031484. Country code. And when I click on the remove employee, employee will get removed. See here, you can uh, see that employee is removed successfully. When I click on the logout, uh, admin is logged out successfully. Now let us look at the next role that is accountant. I have a domain user named as Ankur. He is an accountant in the hospital. When I click on logged in, he is able to see the list of patients. This is the list of patients. There are two patients currently. And uh, he has right to update the status. This uh, negative values are, are shown just because we have written any 
admission date and all dummy admission dates that's why this values has negative because these are calculated from the data which is in the database uh, anyways uh, accountant has right only to update the status otherwise he don't have any right to change the data or uh, something like that when, when the payment is done he can click on paid and update the status here you can see the status is updated here he can either go back or he can log out let us have look at the next rule that is reception I have a dummy receptionist. <clears throat> when I hit again, this is the list of patients. Um, this reception can add patient or she can remove or edit the patient. Let us add the dummy patient here. Let us name him as ABC later while updating you can change his name def abc at the rate aditya let uh, let us say consider some name saish at the rate gmail.com i'll enter password as one two three four i'll enter the date of birth as some date, random date. Uh, date of admission is today's admission date. Uh, phone number. He has an option to select the doctor as we have only one doctor. If there are many doctors, that whole doctor list will be displayed here. There is only one type of word. This can be multiple words. Let me enter the paid, which is allotted. Payment status, it will be pending. Security question for resetting the password. Let it be Tom. Problem, high fever. Uh, reception cannot add the description prescription here doctor it is the field of doctor to add the prescription when i click the add patient button patient gets added see you can see the patient newly patient added a reception can edit the patient now let me change his name saish naik let me update the patient you can see size like updated if she if the pending uh, payment status is uh, paid she can remove the patient as well as pending pay, uh, payment status is pending so she will not be able to remove this patient we can go back and that our reception can log out now let us look at the other role that is doctor role uh, we have one doctor dummy doctor <clears throat> here is the list of patients doctor can Add the prescription here. Stay home, stay safe. See here, it is updated here. You can add the medicines, select medicine, add prescription. Uh, that is how to take it take twice a day and this will be carried for four days that means twice a day four days eight tablets will be there 
add medicine. This medicine will be used for calculating the amount as well. As I refresh here, you can see the added medicine. Doctor can remove the medicine. Medicine removed successfully. He can go back and he can log out. Now let us look at the patient page. What are the options available for the patient? <coughs> Here is the patient page. All are read only format. Nothing can be edited by the patient. He will be able to see the assigned medicine. Prescription will be visible. This one. This is a prescription which is written by doctor. This is the problem which is written by uh, reception and patient can log out. That's all about my front end. I think all the rules are have been covered. I have implemented this using Docker container. See here you can see all the data of the uh, 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 server which is sent to the front end. When I hit Docker Compose down, you won't be able to access any service. All the three services are down now. And if I check, the server will be not accessible. See, it is not accessible. In the next video, we will discuss about the code of the front end and in next to next that video, we will be discussing about the deployment of this project in Amazon Web Services. Thank you very much.